Okay, so now I've got this primitive, this, this merge method that I can use to combine two sorted arrays. But you might be wondering, like, how do I turn this into a sorting algorithm? It doesn't, you know, like, where do these sorted arrays come from? And to examine this question, what I want to do is I want to kind of think about array recursion. We've been doing recursion on trees where, you know, the, there was this natural way of making the problem smaller, which is to think about my left subtree and my right subtree separately. However, in an array, got no subtrees. So how do we do this? Uh, what, what's the equivalent of array? So remember with the tree, the idea, and the same thing with the list. We talked about this a little bit with the list, and this is pretty similar. With the tree, the idea is that the left and right subtree are also trees. Um, with an array, the idea is that if I look at a contiguous slice of an array, so in this case, the first half and the second half, that's also an array. It's just a smaller array. So every contiguous subarray of an array is itself an array. That's sort of similar to what we looked at with trees, where every you know, subtree, every right or left child of a node in a tree was itself a tree. Um, and so what this allows us to do, just like we did with trees, is we can break an array into these smaller and smaller pieces where each one is itself also an array, right? So I can look at the left subarray of this larger array of size eight, which has size four. I can look at the left subarray of that array, which has size two. And I can look at the left subarray of that array, which has size one. And I can continue to do this uh, in this dogmatic way <laughs> using this diagram throughout the entire array, um, right? So now let's think about it. So now we're gonna go backwards. So I've broken the array down to smaller and smaller pieces. And finally I get to an array of size one. Now keep in mind, with merge, merge only works if it merges two sorted arrays. So the question with merge is, if I give you a big unsorted array, where do you get the sorted arrays from? Well, okay, so let's say you give me a big unsorted array of size 128. I'll break that into two smaller pieces. One of them has size 64. Okay, still, I got a problem. Okay, well, I'll break them into two smaller pieces. One of them has size 32. Still too big, keep going. 32, break it in half, 16. Still don't know what to do. 16 divided by two, eight. Man, still too big. I like that number, but we're not done yet. Eight divided by two, four. Still too big, there could be anything in there, right? Four divided by two, two. Okay, we're getting close. Two divided by one, I have an array of size one. What's interesting about an array of size one? It's sorted. It's already sorted. So by taking the problem and breaking it down using recursion, I can eventually get to a problem that's already solved. Once I break that larger array down to smaller and smaller pieces and I find those arrays of size one. So again, think about it this way. I've got these two arrays of size one. They're sorted. I can merge them using my merge method into a sorted array of size two. And then I can merge that sorted array of size two with the other sorted array of size two that I created next to it into a sorted array of size four. And I can merge that sorted array of size four next to the sorted array of size four next to it into a sorted array of size eight, into a sorted array of size 16, into a sorted array of size 32, 164, 128, and keep going until I get the problem entirely solved. So that's how merge sort works. Recursively, we take this large array, we split it until it's tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces that are already sorted, and then we use this merge method that we've created to merge those sorted pieces together, starting from sorted arrays of size one, building them up to sorted arrays of size two, of size four, of size eight, of size 16, of size 32, of size 64, of size 128. And eventually, you know, no matter how big the array is, I will have finished the job. Um, so, so that's the trick here uh, with merge sort. Um, you're gonna have a chance to do this on a homework problem, but this is the conceptual overview. So take the big array, break it, break it down, small enough pieces, eventually I get to a problem that's solved, array of size one is already sorted, use that as a starting point to apply my merge method to create larger and larger and larger sorted arrays at every step.